Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on with a tutorial. This is a tutorial for the uh, double-sided uh, picture frame that is in the Craft Love store. Uh, the owner of the store did ask me to do a tutorial on my channel and um, I told her no problem. Um, I do want to point out that this um, design is from or is designed by Nicole Silhouette here on YouTube. Uh, she does offer or she does have a tutorial on her channel and I will be happy to link her tutorial in the description box below for you to reference. Um, I may do some things slightly different than her, um, but um, anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. All right, so I'm going to cover what you're going to need to put this together. Um, so first of all, you're gonna need a die cutting machine. And as you can see, I have already done my prep work and I have cut everything out. So I'm going to show you um, how many you need of each die. Um, but first of all, obviously you need your die cutting machine. You're gonna need wet glue, or you can use your sticky tape. You can use red line tape or this white sticky tape. You're gonna need scissors. You're gonna need a bone folder and then obviously you'll need the die set. All right, so uh, this die set, I believe it comes with nine pieces. Um, so for this particular piece right here, this is a panel. You're gonna cut this out twice. It goes, I put, it's a panel for the uh, picture frame. So you're gonna cut this out two times. This is the base of the picture frame and you will cut that out one time. And then you have the top, which looks like this, and you will cut this out one time. And then this is the um, bottom of the pedestal, and this is what's gonna cover it up. You're gonna cut this out twice. Um, this actually um, creates the, 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 the border around your pedestal for the bottom. Um, you cut this out uh, eight times, and as you can see, I have um, everything already die cut out, ready to go. Um, you're going to die cut out this frame two times. Um, I do highly recommend that you use some heavyweight cardstock when you're doing your die cutting for just the base, and then you can go back in and decorate your um, picture frame with pattern paper. Um, this is the um, frame for the actual uh, picture frame. So actually the base to the picture frame, and you'll cut this out twice. And then these two pieces right here, this is um, a reinforcer that um, she designed and I'll show you how to use these. Um, you're gonna cut out eight reinforcers of this little piece right here and this piece right here. And that is it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to build the base. Um, so I'm going to move everything off to the side and let's get started. If you guys have any questions, obviously, you can um, leave them down below. I'm going to do my best to explain how to put this together. Um, and so let's get started. All right, so we're going to start with the base. So you're going to take your pieces, these pieces right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue them together. Now, you can use your sticky tape and put adhesive right here where I'm going to use wet glue. Um, I have put together one of these pedestals uh, picture frames before. It was actually an SVG file and I just found that it was easier to use wet glue, but it's totally your preference. If you prefer to use this, please do. Um, for my tutorial, I'm going to use wet glue because that's what I prefer. And I'm going to be using this um, Helmer's Craft Glue. Um, just recently picked it up at Hobby Lobby. It dries very quickly. And I really am in, I'm liking this glue. It works really well. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we're just going to grab one and start gluing the sides. And I'll do a couple so you can see, and then I will probably speed up the vid video um, so that you don't have to watch me glue all of the panels together. But you just basically line it up um, right at the score line and up on top. With your finger, you can just press down, make sure that you get a, a good press since you're using wet glue. 
and I'm just going to hold it down to make sure that it's good. And then I'm going to just move on to the next piece. And again, I'm going to put my adhesive on this, this little flap and this little flap. And I'm just going to go around until I finish. Okay, so now you're gonna have something that looks like this. And this is where you're going to take uh, this piece right here. This is the bottom of the base and this will go right here. But before we do that, I'm going to show you the next step, which is you're going to need the dies. Let me see if I can get it. The die that looks like this. This is the reinforcer and you will have cut this out eight times and you take seven of them and basically all you have to do is apply your glue to this reinforcer and what you're going to do is you're just going to layer it on top and you're going to stack seven of them on top of one another so you're going to stack glue stack glue stack until you reach uh, seven and then you'll have something that looks like this and see I have them all stacked and um, this is where your straw will go through. So on um, this base, the bottom of this picture, there's a little X and you're going to line that up actually on this side because you want this side to be on the bottom. You're going to line it up uh, center. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to line it up in the center with that X and glue that down. You're going to go back and add adhesive to the bottom. Again, you can use your sticky tape. It will go a little bit faster, but again, I just prefer wet glue. I like the option of being able to adjust and move if I don't get it, line it up perfectly. When you're using the red line tape or the white tape, once you stick it down, that's pretty much what you have to live with. If you try to uh, you know, move it, it will tear your paper. So I'm just going to start with one side and just kind of move my finger around carefully. You just have to carefully move it. Um, and like I said, with the wet glue, you have the option to move it. And once you kind of stick it down, you can move it around as you need to. Make sure that it's centered, everything is tucked in and looks good. And then you do need to, you know, let it dry for a minute if you're using wet glue because it can move around on you. So it should look like this, and it, it looks pretty centered to me. And so basically what you do with this second piece, you can use this second piece as a reinforcer um, on the bottom of the base so that you have more stability for your um, picture frame. Um, on Nicole's video, she suggests that you cut the corners or cut all the sides of the shape and then place it on the inside to reinforce and you can do it that way too and that work that will work as well you just have to line up the X's and um, make sure that you place your reinforcer 
in the center on top of the second piece that you lay down. Um, but I think I'm just going to use this on the bottom as the reinforcer. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And I think it looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my straw because you do need a straw. I think I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> you do need a straw. And I just wanted to show you these real quickly. I got these both at the Target dollar spot and they actually are different lengths. I believe that this one is a nine inch straw and this one is like a traditional size straw and I apologize, I can't remember the size, but um, I'm gonna go with this longer straw because I just liked the colors on it and I'm gonna, if, if it's necessary, I'm just gonna cut it where I need to. And then I also decided to use a wooden dowel. I was thinking that if I used a wooden dowel and you can get these in your grocery se section, you know, you can use them for food, for barbecuing. Um, I was thinking that it would give the um, straw some stability and uh, I don't know, maybe it would just be more st stable. So I'm gonna try using this wooden dowel and obviously um, I'll have to cut it um, if it's where, where it needs to stop. But for right now, I'm just going to position my straw inside the hole, which is that reinforcer that we just put in there. And it looks like it fits. So you're gonna have something like that. But first, we're going to go ahead and screw, or not screw, we're gonna glue this last little uh, piece down. This is going to go right on top of uh, the base. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the bottom. I'll move this out of the way. And I'll just go ahead and add my adhesive to all these little flaps. And it's okay if you have the little webs. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and line it up. And I'm just gonna squeeze the sides together. Until it looks good to me. All right, now I'm gonna take my straw and stick it inside. And then you have to try to find the hole on the bottom where the reinforcer is. And you're gonna have to feel around until it's, you know, it's sturdy. And now I feel like it's in there, so that's good. All right, so now we have the base put together and it looks like this. Now we're going to move on to the actual picture frame and put that together. All right, so let's get the picture frame. You're gonna need these two pieces right here. I will move these pieces out of the way. And here is the actual frame. All right, so you're gonna take these two pieces. You're gonna score on all the score lines with your bone folder. So when you fold it in, make sure you give it a good crease. And then you fold it right here. Give it a good crease on all the score lines. And I've already prepped it and I've already added my sticky tape. I may add a little bit of wet glue. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But it is already scored and prepped. You're gonna add your adhesive to all of the outside um, tabs and these little flaps right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and what you're gonna do is
Okay, so now we have these two pieces. So the actual frames are ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one frame and we're gonna start to build around the frame to uh, make that por portion of it. All right, so you have two pieces right here. You have these two pieces. And as you can see, one piece is slightly longer than the other. This longer piece, actually you need um, only one, but this one looks like this. This is the longer one. And I have already done the prep for this, but this is the piece that you're gonna have to um, adhere your adhesive on first, and then you're gonna have to make little zigzag cuts so that you can adhere this on to uh, your frame like so, so you can move it around so that it will attach, if you see what I'm saying. So when you, um, after you die cut this out and you adhere it, you do have to make the little triangle cuts. You're gonna snip right here and then snip right here. And you can do it however you want as long as you can, you know, move this around. And I do recommend that you use your bone folder and kind of move the paper around a little bit, especially if it's, if you're using heavyweight cardstock this is 110 pound weight. If you're using a lighter weight, it, it also could be helpful, but especially the 110 pound cardstock, because you're gonna mold this together and it's gonna fit like this on the picture frame. And again, that is um, using the longer um, die. So this is gonna be the top and this is going to be the bottom. This is the bottom. And then you have this die right here, which are the two side panels. And the side panels will go on the sides of the picture frame like that, okay? So I just wanted to kind of show you that. But first, what we're gonna do, this is going to be the bottom of the base. So it's gonna sit something like that. Let me just turn it like this. It's gonna sit something like this. And so this is the second reinforcer. And like we did with the first one at the beginning of the video, you're just gonna take your adhesive, glue it, add your adhesive, and then glue it down. So you need to have this right here. This is about eight of them glued down. And you're just gonna put it down, you're gonna glue it down on the bottom. And this is going to just make sure that your base of your picture frame is sturdy. So I'm just gonna take my wet glue again and if you go ahead and adhere that, and you just line it up with the hole. And if you get a little glue in there, just take your um, bone folder or your scissors, just make sure it's good. And then what you wanna do is also take your straw and then you're gonna to wanna to make sure your straw you know, goes in and it does. That way you know it's lined up perfectly, good to go. So I'm just gonna slide this out. I do have that wooden down there so it makes it a little bit harder to turn. But um, okay, so we've got that. All right, so go ahead and do that. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to add the panel. So I'm going to take my panel piece and go ahead and take the adhesive off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add, adhere this flap to this side right here. And it may be easier just to lay it down on your work surface and line it up. That's what I'm going to do. And that looks good. And then you're just gonna press down. Again, you can use your bone folder. Make sure that it's adhered nicely. And then you'll have something that looks like this, okay? And then you're gonna to go to the other side and do the same thing. So, go ahead and take your adhesive off. And you can line it up. Actually, you can even line it up like this if you just position it like this on your work surface. 
make sure it's perfectly lined up and it is and you can just push down that way that's another way that you can line it up as well whatever works for you just as long as it's you know aligned because you don't want it to be wonky okay so you're gonna have something now that looks like this so it's coming together very very nicely all right so the next thing that we're gonna want to do is we're going to glue we're gonna adhere this this top portion of the picture frame so go ahead and take all the little tiny pieces off and I think I'm gonna use wet glue as a reinforcer I don't know I just want to make sure that it's this glue you know adheres and it stays adhered um, just as backup but you don't have to do that if you don't want to I'm just going to go ahead and take it off the back as well and I'm just going to move this out of the way okay so now we have this piece right here and you're just going to line it up but first I'm going to go ahead and add my um, adhesive I want to I'm just going to add a little bit just for safety <laughs> I don't know I just feel like this is a big project and I just want to make sure it all stays together okay so I put my a little bit of glue just and then you're just gonna line this corner up and you're just going to follow the frame if that makes sense just follow the picture frame and it might be easier to set it down but you're just going to move it and make sure you have it lined up the score line lines up with this arch and that's the good thing about the wet glue is you can move it you have time to move it uh, if it's not perfect all right so now that I have it lined up and I think it looks pretty good just trying to make sure that it's nice and smooth and that it looks like it needs to be right where it needs to be all right so now I'm going to take the adhesive off this side take the adhesive off on this side stick it down and then you're going to take this piece and adhere this one side and then I'm going to add more wet glue to this and adhere it together and you just want to make sure you line it up and smooth it down you can use your bone folder and then we're going to adhere it so it looks pretty good and then we're going to close it up and then this is the last piece we're going to line up right here so I'm going to get my wet adhesive, I'm going to take this piece off, and we're going to close it up. And hopefully this all works. <laughs> I'm really excited about the outcome of this. This is such an awesome die. Um, it's a great idea. You can, you know, put this in your craft room or your home, in your home, and then you can have two picture, pictures in it, and then you can turn it either side and have a different picture showing which I think is just a lot of fun and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue right here all right so you're gonna carefully adhere it and I'm sorry if I'm off frame I'm just trying to make sure that I look at it and make sure that everything is lined up And 
I'm just pushing this in. And just pushing down, making sure that the flaps adhere. And it's looking really nice. And I'm just pushing down, just pushing down, making sure that it is adhered. And don't worry about any glue. You can always cover it up. All right, so you have something that looks like this, and now we're gonna apply the bottom, which is right here. We're gonna take off the adhesive. And we're gonna hope that everything lines up perfectly and that it works. I'm so excited. All right, so um, go ahead and add your flap and just make sure you line it up on the inside because you're gonna line it up with the score line and it should slide in. I kind of have to raise it up so that I can see what I'm doing. So I apologize if I'm off frame a little bit, but I'm just trying to make sure I can see what I'm doing. It's a little difficult, but just push, use your fingers on the inside and press down. Good to go. You're gonna push these flaps in and then just kind of close it up. Close up this part, push down. This is so awesome, you guys. I cannot wait to decorate it and actually use it. All right, so now we're going to line up the straw. We're gonna put this back in the base. I took it out, but just make sure you find the center. Just push it in, make sure you fill it. Oops, don't push too hard. You don't wanna bust, bust your project. And then we're gonna, I think I'm gonna try it with this wooden stick, let's see. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And it will turn. Okay, so I got the straw in. It works better with the wooden dowel for sure. And I'm just going to snip it um, about right here, just very carefully. And just be careful you don't break a nail like I just did. <laughs> That's okay though. And so this is what it looks like, you guys. It works. It stands up. You can do front and back, and you have a cute, turnable uh, picture frame. I love it. All right, so I'm back. I decorated my turnable picture frame. I think it came out super cute. Um, let me just go ahead and show you what it looks like decorated, and then I wanna kinda give you some tips and tricks. Um, this was the first one that I put together, and um, I have some suggestions on what you should do um, when you're actually uh, creating this that I didn't go over in my tutorial. So um, let's get started. All right, so I decorated the frame using this new paper that I recently picked up from uh, Joann's. This is, I believe, the Chamel paper. And um, I used this really pretty um, purple glitter to decorate the um, outside of the frame. And then right here, I'll just zoom in. I created a rosette and um, I used a little bit of tool um, behind it. Um, this is just um, another rosette that I have in my stash and I just used it as a decorative piece. Um, and then I used this really cute camera that I have in my stash. Um, and then I just kind of layered it to give it some little thickness. I thought that was super cute to go with the camera theme. 
And then um, down at the bottom of the base, I used this um, beautiful bow die. This is my new double bow die uh, that I had picked up and it is a steel rule wooden die. It's the one that creates four um, bows at once. I'm absolutely loving it. I cut it out of this beautiful uh, chunky glitter paper that I did actually pick up off of AliExpress. On the bottom of my base, I did decorate it with some patterned paper that coordinated with this collection. I used this really pretty bling that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, I believe, and I just went around the entire base with it on the top and the bottom. And then on the this side right here, I just used some butterflies, and these actually are butterflies that are in the Craft Love store. Um, I layered this one just three times with a uh, patterned paper, and then I topped it with vellum, and I just took my sewing machine and I actually just sewed down the middle. Just thought that was pretty. And then again, I did it on the bottom, and I used the larger butterfly, and again, it is layered three times with the patterned paper, and I thought that was really cute. And then for my top, um, what I did was I used one of these little pom-poms. I think I picked up from Michael's. And basically all I did was um, I snipped a little uh, opening in the pom-pom so that I could glue it down to my straw. And then on the sides I have the pretty pattern paper. So you see I went back and I die cut out, um, you know, all the pieces. I die cut them out and then I just took my scissors and I trimmed off the edges so that I could create my layering piece for um, each part of this picture frame. And um, I, look, it does turn, so if you stand it up, I just wanna show you, it does turn, it does work, and um, this is such a cool die. I absolutely love it. I am going to be keeping this one from keeping this one for myself. I'm gonna be putting it in my crafty space. I'm gonna put some pictures probably of me and my daughter um, in this one, but I absolutely love the way it came out. All right, so um, my tip number one, and again, I wanna go over the straws with you because um, this is kind of huge. Um, I do want to be honest, I did struggle to put that straw in. It was not easy. Um, I highly recommend that you get these jumbo 12 inch bamboo skewers. They fit perfectly into your straw. And this particular straw that I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot is a nine inch straw. This slides in just like this perfectly. Um, um, I don't know if I would have been able to put the straw in without it, to be honest. I felt like I was going to tear the straw. It was not easy. So, highly recommend that you get a skewer and this will give your straw stability. Also, when you punch it up through your base and it comes up through the top, you can use your, um, you know, heavyweight cutting shears, or not heavyweight, but just your really super sharp cutting shears to cut off the wooden doll so that uh, you have it at the height that you want it and then you can cover it with whatever topping that you wanna do. You could do a pom-pom like I did. You could do um, even a yarn ball or if you have a little metal piece, like a little top right there, you could do that. Um, it's totally up to you, but um, yes, you're definitely gonna wanna get the nine inch uh, straw the uh, normal size straws that you can typically get anywhere, they are, I wanna say seven and three quarters. Yes, seven and three quarters in length. So this, I don't think this, stop, this straw is gonna work, to be honest. I'm, I, I mean, I just, I just don't. I think you're gonna struggle putting your um, straw through all of the holes that have to connect to the top. Um, so I highly recommend that you go with a um, nine inch straw. Okay, and then prior uh, to putting, assembling your um, picture frame and pedestal, um, I do recommend that you cut out some decorative pattern paper. Um, I didn't do it ahead of time, so I didn't cover up the bottom, and I did not want to take this straw out because it was so difficult to put through. Um, I didn't want to take it out to cover up the bottom, so I just left it pink. That was the base, the heavyweight cardstock that I used. But prior to you putting this straw through, I highly recommend you get your pattern paper that you choose and glue it on before you put your straw in because I was just afraid to pull it out because it wasn't, it wasn't very easy to push through and connect to the top. 
Um, so definitely do that. Cover the areas that um, you want, especially like this little piece right here, little octagon. You, I could have covered that with some decorative paper, but I wasn't thinking. Um, this is the first one that I put together, but now I know for the second one, definitely uh, cut your pattern paper and stick it on before you adhere or try to uh, push the straw through your uh, picture frame. And I think that is it. Um, oh, my other thing that I wanted to share really quickly is I was using this Helmer's uh, craft glue. I don't recommend it. It worked, but I highly recommend Fabri-Tac. Fabri-Tac just works better. It's stronger and um, yeah. Um, so that is my other tip. I would definitely use Fabri-Tac if you glow with the wet glue option. And then if you go with a score tape option, just make sure you use a red line tape that's um, a good brand and especially like the score tape. Um, I don't really know if I really cared for the Tuesday morning score tape. I feel like you need a better score tape um, to use. So I highly recommend the red line tape. I think that would work better and stick um, a little bit better. I think it would adhere better. So anyway, this is my crafty project share. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend the die. Um, this project did take me quite a while to put together. It is a lot of die cutting, um, but the end result is this. And I mean, this would be a perfect Mother's Day gift to give to your mom. That's what I think. And then I think also if you do craft fairs, this would be a really fun item to sell in a craft fair. Maybe you could make a few and um, sell them. I think they would be a great gift. Um, so, and even for a teacher's gift too. Anyway, um, highly recommend the die. It was a lot of fun to put together. I love the end result. Um, so yeah, please leave me a comment. Please check the description box below for product information. And I will catch you guys in my next crafty video. Bye for now.